Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wild North Addiction. My name's William, and look where we are. So I'm just using the uh, hazwing up the front. We're going to pull into this nice little bay, unload some gear, set up camp, make a fire, go and catch some fish, cook it in the pot. We're going to cook over the fire. So it's going to be a pretty sick episode, I reckon. We're going to be getting straight into it, so let's go. Alright, so we've uh, got the gear unloaded and I'm just going to drive the boat around here and then uh, spot lock it up there while I set up camp. So I'm just going to drive it through this little posse here and uh, watch out for bombies. But we should be right. Look, we're literally just standing from shore and I'm controlling my boat with a remote. It's so loose. So we've got the boat spot locked out there. We just need to take this stuff up to camp. Camp's just up here, so not too far. And I forgot my bloody jandals. So that's another bare feet mission. Uh, we'll get this gear up at camp, set up camp, and then we're gonna go and catch a fish or two. Lugged everything from the rocks. And this is where we're camping for the night. So it's a nice flat bit of ground. Nice little hill up there. A little bit of something something here. And it just goes straight down onto rocks and straight out to big dog country. So we're going to get some of these stones as well and we're going to make a little fire. Probably down here. It's a bit safer. There's a bit of grass up here and we don't want to have a bust up. So there's a nice little spot just in here. Move some of these. Create a fire pit. We've, uh, we've got the big camp oven pot. Actually it's not big, it's quite small. But we've got uh, cans of stuff, coconut milk. This other nice looking stuff that I found in the cupboard. So we're gonna go and get some fish, chuck it all in. We've got potatoes, onions, carrots. And uh, first of all though, we've got to set up this tent. As you see, it's not too hard to make a little fire pit. You just need some uh, decent rocks round in a circle. And now, that's good to light a fire in. Right, let's go. So we're going to give 17 metres a go first, we've uh, just deployed the ocean angler handbrake so it's going to slow us down a bit, there's a bit of a southwesterly breeze. So we're going to have a few flicks here first and uh, see what we can pull. Yeah. That might not be a snapper, but that is an orange, a red snapper. How bloody sick is that? Oh, bust up. How's that guys? It's a red snapper on the old soft bait. That's loose, they've got real sharp gills, so you gotta be real careful with them. But how sick's that? I'm gonna hold them up. That's so sick. Look at that little thing. But I know that they are very, very good eating. So we're gonna keep them. He's uh, he's not going. He's not going home. Look at him. So bloody cool. Not quite sure what this one is. It doesn't feel like another red snapper. But it might be a snapper. 
hopefully. And then that's pretty much us. We're running out of daylight, so luckily we're catching a couple. Oh yeah. It's a small jobby, but it's uh it's coming home. It's still like 35 centimeters. It's enough for feed. So that's all good on the Z-Man red bone. We've moved out to like 44 meters because this is where the fish are holding at the moment. But um, yeah, we weren't getting any bites in close. So come out here and wow, we're getting dinner. So because the sun's going down, we're going to uh, call it there. But we're gonna have a pretty good fishing session tomorrow, hopefully. So uh, we're gonna go and get this fire going before the sun goes down fill up this fish up and then uh, get this pot on the fire Right, we're back at camp and the sun's going down so we're on a bit of a hunt to go and find some firewood. There's a nice little beach just over here. Oh yeah, the boat's has wing down there. And then I gotta go and take the dog out, anchor it, and then um, swim back in, which is gonna be a bit chilly. But as you would have seen on one of the episodes a couple weeks back, uh, the kayak's got a hole in it so we couldn't exactly use the kayak because we'll start sinking and that was a bust up on that video just the usual it's a common occurrence on uh, these wild north production videos a good old bust up uh, anyway there's a bit of wood around here which is good Here we go. There is the fire started. Epic. Now I've just got the motor in reverse just to set the anchor and you know when it uh, when it goes tight like it is now and it uh, doesn't pull it's when you know the anchor's set It's very very cold again but I'm not going to be a B word this time Oh, let's go. Ooh. Just enjoy the cold, which I'm struggling to do right now.
We're walking on seaweed. Chilly. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh, now we've got this little dog to cross as well. Bus stop. I don't think I'm going to be able to get across without bloody getting in. Oh, another time. Ooh, keep warm, keep warm. Oosh, oosh, oosh. Hey, how's that fire going? Look at this. Yeah, boy, that's what I like to see. Fire. All right, guys, so in this, Little box has all my cooking stuff, and I'm gonna have to go find some bigger logs. But this is what we're cooking in tonight, so we'll just chuck all those over here. Because I've got to peel them, and that stuff too. And then we'll just get this heated up. So, like I said, I'm gonna have to go find some big, bigger logs. Put the um, because we just want the embers. That's where the heat is. That's where the heat is. I need to snap this dog. Oh, oh, that is a bust up. get that simmering away we'll just get that heat down we might even just pull this in oh no that's a buster actually let's take that off this is called a campfire so that just sits on the on the fire there we've got some ingredients there very basic you know how I am with our uh, cooking so this is actually flash for me and now we're gonna fill it up these Snapper and red snapper, which is bloody cool. Alright guys, there's our fish, we've uh, got a couple more logs there, so that fire's really going now which is good. So we'll put this on, this uh, camp oven on, and hopefully we don't have a bust up here because it's bound to happen, Ooh, just like we've already got one. Oh, and shit, that's very hot. I'll oh, sit the uh, camp oven in there, just like that. Oh, very hot. Just like that, we'll pour this coconut cream in and chopped tomatoes, and then we'll uh, peel those, and then we'll peel that. Um, oh, 
smoky. And then we'll peel the potatoes and the carrots and the onion, put it in there, and then we'll put the fish on when that sort of simmers down a bit and those potatoes starting to soften up a bit. So uh, this is cooking lessons with Big Wallace today. Shit, this is flash. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. That's very hot. Oh my, hopefully they don't burn. Get some of that in. Then we'll peel these carrots. How bloody good is this? We've uh, launched off the beach today, went and caught our own fish. Now we've just uh, made a fire and now we're cooking on it. Not bad. Not bad. This is living, Barry. This is living. Alright guys, so I've chopped this um, fish up to reasonable sized chunks and we're going to put it in now, it's not going to take long after I put this in, maybe another like 5 minutes, 5-10 five, minutes, we just stir that in with that, it's going so good, I just had a potato, man it's good, alright so we'll give that another 5. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. I'm so hungry. It's gonna be so good too. Everything over a fire is cooked so mean, even if it's a bit fast, even if it's not quite done, it's everything's just so mean over a fire. I love it. And it's so good for you. Look what we're eating. We're eating homegrown, homegrown potatoes from our place, uh, homegrown carrots. We caught the fish. And then there's just that coconut milk and that other tomato stuff. But, not bad. Healthy feeds. Healthy's good. There we go. And that is a meal over the fire. That is so bloody good. I just had some of that. Holy demon. I'm going to get a... Uh, oh my god, it's so good. I'm going to get a bowl full. You guys uh, might be thinking, oh my god, that's a big bowl. Yeah, check this out. Because it is a very large bowl full. It's, uh, she's full to the brim. As you guys can see, that meal has gone down bloody quick. It's, uh, Man, that's so good. Almost better than cooking at home. But um, anyway, I'm going to head off to bed. But uh, stay around because we're going fishing tomorrow. And uh, we're going to go and land a big one. We're going to go and get a big snap. So that's the plan. Hopefully we can make it happen. So stick around. You're not going to want to miss tomorrow. I've, uh, I've got a good feeling about a big snap. So catch you in the morning. Cheers, guys. Morning guys, look at the sunrise, so epic, so bloody nice right now. So the plan is today, we're going to pack up camp straight away, I'm going to go and get the boat and then we're going to load the stuff into the boat and then hopefully have a pretty good fishing session and uh, 
go and target some big ones. So the fish are holding out deep at the moment, sort of 40, 40 meters, 45. But hopefully, hopefully we can pull a big one out. So that's the plan today, stick around. Don't go anywhere, cause hopefully we can pull a big dog. Right, let's pack up camp. Alright, you know what time it is, it's uh, time to go and get the boat, and unfortunately, the boat is out a little bit, so it's hanging with the way of the current, and the current is going out, so that's a bust up, so it's a bit, bit bigger of a swim this morning, it's uh, not too far, but you know what I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bit chilly at 7.30 in the morning, in the middle of winter but got to do what you got to do out there's a rock Well, I'm standing on the rocks. That's a bit easier. Ah, oh, that hurt the old leg. But, should be alright. Oh, not too far. Not too far. Just waiting for that big great white. Love me a good great white. No, I don't, I'm joking. Morning, Drew Willis. There you go. Oh, it's a bit nippy. That is a bit nippy. Right, after a bit of a cold early morning swim, we've uh, got the boat all packed up, got everything off the rocks, and now it's time to go and catch some snappers. Let's go. Here we go. How's that? On the old soft bait, dragging behind the boat. That's pretty mean. And they're very good eating too. That's so good. I'm uh, not throwing him back. Well, we might move out a little bit deeper as uh, the fishing's not very good here. We've only caught that one golden snapper and we've moved off the bait schools. So we're gonna go up to about 45 meters because we're drifting in. It's a northerly wind. Well, sort of, it's a northeaster sort of thing. Sort of a nor'easter, so 
So uh, we're getting pushed in, and that means, and that's actually a good thing because that means that we can go out deeper and then drift in and find where the fish are. We finally found some fish. We're, uh, we've come out to 52 meters. It's quite deep, and now it's gone. So, but hey, that felt good. We were we were hooked up. Just snipped the line. My braid snapped. It wasn't even that big a fish. Yeah, just braid snap. Might be time to uh, change this braid. We found the fish. 52 meters. But uh, there are some very big ones out here as well. I don't think this little guy is though. Only a little fella, but he's coming home. We, uh, I've got a request from the old man to keep a few fish. So, this little guy, he's coming home. So all I'm doing is I'm not even casting my soft bait. I'm just dropping it down and look, it's already got picked up. Oh no, dropped it. Is I'm just dropping down my soft bait and they're picking it up on the drop. Wait. There you go. Just like that. wants to put a bit of string but it can't. That is a very respectable snapper. Another one that's going in the bin for dinner. How good. We found the fish. Just dropped down my soft bait. I'm just casting it like about five meters behind the boat. And then just dropping it down, and then because there's so many fish down there, on the uh, showing up on the on the sounder there, they're just smashing it on the drop, which is pretty mean. And got one. Ah, let it go. Oh, got another one. Nah, let it go. Oh, got another one. Yeah, that'll do. Heaps of fish. Finally found them. Took a little while this morning, but we got there. Finally found them. Took a little while this morning, but we got there. This one wants to pull a little bit of string too. Check that out, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. This is the good one. a very good one. Oh yeah, this is the one we're after. This is the one.
don't think it's overly massive, but it's definitely a better one than what we have been catching. It's pulling a bit of string, which is good. Come on, be a good one. That was on the drop too, just like I've been doing it. Throwing it at the back like five meters, making sure it's hitting the bottom, pretty much in line with my boat. And then, um, they're just taking it on the drop. So good. Here we go. It's just holding him in the water. So we um. So hopefully I can let him go. And that is a nice fish. Check that bad boy out. Nice fish. Probably around 15, maybe 18 pound. It's quite a nice one. But he's not gonna go 20. On that red bone, seven inch, one ounce jig head, ocean angler stuff. Can't beat it, so good. Try getting back in the drink. Come on, big girl. Should go. I've uh, had him in the net. There she goes. We did it. Yeah, boy. How was that snapper? That was so bloody good. Managed to finally get a half decent one on the video, which uh, it's always a pleasant surprise. But we're gonna call the video there guys. Thank you very much for watching. Watching this full episode of Wild North Addiction. And um, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment and share. It's all uh, much appreciated as well as following William the Fisherman on Instagram and Facebook. It's where I post up my missions, what I'm up to. But um, cheers guys, see you on the next episode.